Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from ExecuteAutomation.com and welcome to an all new video series in our Execute Automation channel on TypeScripts. And this is the TypeScript fundamental course where we are going to talk about the fundamentals of TypeScript starting from what TypeScript is and how to install TypeScript and understand how to work with the different syntaxes of TypeScript. And we'll also talk about what is the real importance of TypeScript while working with a JavaScript based framework, something like WebDriver, IVO, AngularJS, Protractor, Jasmine, and all these automation testing tools and technologies framework because TypeScript is going to be a superset of JavaScript. And as that said, these JavaScript based framework can use TypeScript as well. As that said, you can use TypeScript to write the code for any JavaScript based framework, provided if you have a very good type definition as well for help on intelligence. Once again, those are something which we'll be discussing in this course and you'll understand how to gel a third party JavaScript based framework within TypeScript to get an cool intelligence options as well. So TypeScript is really, really awesome. And that's the reason I have also provided a caption in this course as a stepping stone for automation testing. So we are going to take or leverage this course further by using the TypeScript language in different automation testing tools and technologies like Protractor, Jasmine, etc. Right. And this video is going to be talking about TypeScript introduction and we'll talk how to make use of TypeScript in different JavaScript based languages and what are the different kinds of helpful features TypeScript offers us. TypeScript is a typed superset of JavaScript that compiles or transpiles into JavaScript. So basically whatever code that you write in TypeScript, it is going to be converted into JavaScript eventually or otherwise called as transpiling into JavaScript. So why TypeScript rather than writing in a JavaScript? TypeScript as its name, it adds types enforcement within JavaScript, which JavaScript by default owned. So for instance, if you are going to work with a string type, then you don't really have to specify the type of string for the particular variable in JavaScript. Whereas in TypeScript, it is super important that you need to add a type for that particular variable. And it is just one example that I'm giving, but you'll understand eventually while you start working with TypeScript that how important it is to have a type for the variable or a function or a class that you're going to work with. And TypeScript has much neat and easy way to maintain code. And that's the most important exciting thing for me while starting to learn with TypeScript because I was really confused working with a JavaScript applications or frameworks because it's too cumbersome to understand if your coding is getting very very bigger and it is very hard to maintain in JavaScript as well. But TypeScript really adds a much neater way to maintain the code. So if you are from a C sharp or a Java background, you will really love TypeScript. And TypeScript has cross platform support, which means you can run TypeScript in any browser, any operating systems, any devices. So the code which is written in TypeScript for a enum is going to look something like this. You can see it has a enum and the name of the enum is language known and the enum type variables are like English, Hindi and Tamil. And you can export this particular enum to other modules which is going to be consuming this particular enum to use them. But again, guys, don't confuse with exporting and importing just yet. But to just to demonstrate how an enum code looks like in TypeScript, this is how it is. If a TypeScript is going to transpile this particular code into JavaScript, the same code in JavaScript is going to look something like this. You can see that JavaScript by default don't have enum type itself. And it will eventually look something like this as a function and it's going to take a variable language known and it's going to assign the corresponding variable values so 0, 1 and 2 for them and it's going to return the particular value if there's nothing else, right? And the export statement is pretty much same that you can see for a TypeScript as well as JavaScript. Those are same. But you can see that there are, there are so many heavy lifting things is being taken care of by TypeScript for you than the one which you can write in JavaScript. And that's the reason I fall in love with TypeScript itself. TypeScript is really, really awesome and it's a very neat way of writing the code in JavaScript. 
And there are different types of editors available in TypeScript, even though you can write a TypeScript code within Notepad. The editors are something like this. You can use Visual Studio 2017 or 2015, or you can use Visual Studio Code. And you can also have different types of uh, most exciting editors that you can use for different operating systems like Sublime Text, Autumn, Eclipse, Emac, VIM, WebStorm, etc. And you can see that the Visual Studio Code is something the editor of choice for this course in our Xero Animation channel because Visual Studio Code is really exciting and very, very useful editor for me because you can see the power of Visual Studio Code in our next video onwards that how easy it is to work with types itself. So once again, coming back to our early question, where TypeScript is used in automation testing, and you have put this in caption for this particular course itself. Well, it is everywhere right now. Wherever JavaScript based frameworks are used, TypeScript is also used. Something like AngularJS, Protractor, Jasmine, and WebDriver IO, and there are many more, I can say hundreds plus framework, which can use TypeScript as one of their important writing language to convert them into a JavaScript based framework. An AngularJS team started working TypeScript because they found the TypeScript is very, very helpful to develop the AngularJS itself. So AngularJS team are primarily using TypeScript as their development language. And Protractor is the automation testing tools for testing an AngularJS based application. Again, you can use TypeScript for testing the application using Protractor. And similarly for Jasmine and WebDriver IO, right? So we'll talk about that, like type definitions and how to add type definitions while working with third-party JavaScript libraries in TypeScript. Well, if you start understanding how those things are working, you can also realize that how important it is to work with TypeScript with different kinds of frameworks and use the same with your automation testing. So guys, TypeScript is really, really awesome and join with me in our other videos of this course to understand how TypeScript is really designed and how cool it is. So once again, thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.